Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here on the Citadel, just outside of West Hill. We're at the West Hill River Inn and we're going to continue the work on the Lilac Farmstead that we started last weekend. First, I got to give a shout out and thank you to Mind Trip Media for the 100 bits. And one day ago, Speedin Falls did his Prime sub and I was not live for that. So I really appreciate both of the subs and the bits. Thanks for the support. We are going to cut through the inn and head down towards the shulkers and the boxes and all the <laughs> all the stuff. Oh, first I have to avoid getting shot. Come into the sunshine. You'll have fun. That's a lot of skeletons. I don't want to destroy any of my grass placement. How are they not on fire when they, he just died? Oh, there he's on fire now. The other guy just died. He wasn't even burning. Strafe, strafe, strafe. There you go. Free stuff if there were any bones around. Yep, yeah, there we go. Cosmic said, I told you, you know who it was from. Uh, yep. <laughs> there's a, there's a, a chest here, but there's no sign to indicate who it might be from. <laughs> oh, cool. We will utilize those today. Arrows. Did that have bones in it? It did. Those can go over here. So, uh, we were working here at this little farmstead on the weekend. Uh, for some screenshots for YouTube, I just threw in some quick tulips in here. I'm not crazy about them because, of course, flowers don't always land in the middle of the box. So we might have to be a little bit more careful with how we choose them. I do have this data pack that adds, like, multiple flowers sometimes, which is nice. And they look great, but the singles look really lonely. So we're probably going to change this back to beetroot. I had it beetroot, but then we moved the planters. And the planters need a final design. And I also think I want to put like a rain bucket maybe here, which I think should saturate some of the farmland as well once we get that all hooked up. And um, I want to finish this tree. There's a bunch of things I got to do up here. But the other thing that we're going to focus on as well is getting in those um, pitcher plants up here. And we were trying to decide whether we wanted to do three tiers so one, two, three, four tiers of lilacs, or just three? I'm thinking we just do three. I think the pitcher plants might look good on that next level. DMCA, hello. <laughs> Fun username. Welcome back. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll just use the coarse dirt to put in all the different um, paths. I'll go from there. These are obviously done. I should pr I could probably just replace those with pitcher plants. Maybe we'll flip back to um, lilacs. I don't know. I don't know. We could probably turn off shaders, though. Do I have? I need shears. Not those. Uh, these will do. I would leave it up longer, but it's right in the way. <laughs> I'm going to have to walk around it all stream. It's a fun little frame. chest and I don't 
think I have any of these out here, but we could put them in here. Need that. I will need coarse dirt. Oh, I'm going to need a lot more coarse dirt. And slabs. What's the other thing? Path block. I think that's it. We must be getting low on our rockets and things too. Oh yeah. That's right. We've got plenty. Let's have to go make some more. Good to see you, Meto. Mini packs. Hello, hello. All right, I think that's all we need. I'm gonna try to use these paths. See if it makes sense. So you can see what I was trying to do here was that when there's a, a gap here, I want there to be a patch of flowers next to the road. So I feel like these patches are all pretty good. It's a little flat here, but we could maybe tweak that a little bit. But I think what I'll do is replace all of these with pitcher plants, uh, especially because the ones that we have now are full grown. I'm also wondering, um, we don't get the benefit. Um, we'll try this now, I guess. If you have a pitcher plant, I don't think it comes with the bottom. So we may want to try to plant them because these ones all have the bottom on them but that is just the plant and it's also shorter. So this is actually going to be a good test because if we replace all of these, I guess I can just use a pickaxe. So here's one advantage and disadvantage. These are flowers and they place randomly on the block. These are crops and they place dead center on the block. Right, so it might be worth it to actually go and plant them. Because we'll get extra height out of it. And I definitely am feeling that desire that I expressed on the spawn chunks this week to um, be able to stop these at certain growth stages. It would be so cool to have turnip looking crops or even just the fourth stage. Like that's kind of a cool look too, right? Alas, you cannot. Something I like about bone milling crops as well is that it's not random. It's not like trying to grow a tree where there's a chance it'll grow. Every time you use the bone meal, it 100% does something. All right, let's check those out. In the dark, of course. Oh, I think, look at the height difference. You can see so much more of them. I think we're gonna have to plant these. Uh, Crosshatch, yeah, I know, I know about the string thing. The problem is that the string, just when they're, when they're all grouped together, the string ends up making a grid. So the string ends up like, um, becoming a thing that you can see very clearly which is not something i'm fond of do you have extra bulbs cosmic because i can go get those too 
I've got some. I don't have a lot, but I've got some. Uh, Alright, I lied. I only got five. I'm pretty sure I checked the storage room. John T. Pepper, hello, hello. I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure that I did not have anything else extra. It's too bad that there's no way to, to duplicate the pitcher plot, pitcher pods, pitcher plant pods, pitcher pods, whatever they're called. It wouldn't be in here. It's all pretty organized. Uh, maybe in some of these random ones, but probably not. I do stay pretty organized. It's really only these ones that are kind of random. Actually, while we're here, do I have carrots kicking around? No. Okay. So yeah, definitely do not have the right stuff. Oh, does it give you the bulb? Can I just bone meal the crap out of these? Hold on. Let's do an experiment. If I can just harvest my own. So that is a full grown pitcher plant from a bulb. And if I harvest it, I get just the plant. Yeah, they don't give you the bulb. And I don't think they give you anything if you bone meal them. Nope. Nope. I think it's only if it's not fully grown. That seems odd. So you're saying that I could use one of these on a random patch of grass somewhere. It just gives you the bulb back, but it doesn't, it doesn't allow you to create more. Yeah, so there's no way to get more bulbs with the exception of the sniffer farm. Okay, well, that means I'm not going to be running through this whole thing and putting in pitcher plants. I can still do the pattern. I'm just going to have to go, go get more bulbs. I've already done dirt there. What I should do. Mini pack says the only way to get new bulbs is through the sniffy boys. Yeah. Yep. Sometimes I wonder why Minecraft bothers to name things because the community just comes up with better names. <laughs> uh, let's see. What do I want? Oh, there's a cosmic dancer. Um, dirt blocks. I don't want to use coarse. Well, I guess I could just use, I could put in something as a placeholder. It might be worth doing beats as a placeholder. 
because then I can make the farmland and still do all the the stuff. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Oh, cool. Whoops. I'm going to go to the other farm and see if I've got any beetroot seeds kicking around. And so we'll use the beetroot as like a placeholder so that I can put the farmland down at least. Uh, over here. Just the one. Well, I guess I could just harvest some beets. But then I have to, if I only get the one seed, then I have to replace it here anyway. Yeah, I just get the one. How do you get more seeds? Does it randomly give you more than one? You can tell that food in Minecraft is not something that I bother with <laughs> in such a, a late game stage of the server. So we can just use path block and grass for now. little bit chunky but oh that's gonna be a path there too a little bit better. Fortunately, this is going to line up a little bit strange. Some of these are going to have to be an odd shape, I think. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, okay. Feels kind of out of place, but... Elkhorn! The mighty Elkhorn is here. Hello, hello. You watch too many Infinity Cove streamers? I had to hold off from offering some from your storage. <laughs> well, I appreciate the thought, Minipack. So one of the nice things about server play is that if you are in a situation where um, you need something and you're streaming, sometimes a server mate can um, be like, be like, um, what's, why can't I remember the Lord of the Rings? Gondor calls for aid. Aid in his king of Rohan. Jeez. Be like Rohan and show up at the right minute. See, that's working out better because that lines up with a patch of flowers. Now 
Now here is where it has to take on a slightly different shape. And I'm wondering if this might be a good spot to maybe even change the crop. It could be kind of fun to have either beets or something else here. Do I have a bed nearby? I thought I did. Uh, not in my inventory. Guess not. Cross-server mail when? I don't know. Mini packs, would that be possible if it was two worlds on the same, like, physical server? Or if you had... I think, I guess when people do that, like, when a big server has, like, a mining server where people can just go dig, ruin the countryside and not care, and then come back and build on, on, a, on a build server, that's just essentially commands that are teleporting a player from one physical minecraft world to the other right like there's it's not actually a shared resource world at that point everybody would be on the same server i guess not separate servers yeah so i don't know uh do i want to oops what button was that supposed to be is that no what did i press G? No. H? No. What button did I just press that brought that other screen out? That was weird. Obviously from a mod somewhere. Um, nice beard. Thank you. <laughs> I have one in real life. It's a lot longer than this, though. <laughs> this was made when I had a short beard. Yeah, I kind of wonder whether this patch right here could be sectioned into, into like proper rows to do something different. I do kind of like the tiered look on this side, though. You can't see what's happening here because the pitcher plants show up as brown on the map for whatever reason. So it's going to look, if I do decide to do a lot of pitcher plants, it's going to look kind of funky. They show up blue here, but they show up brown there, which is disappointing. Uh, hmm. Well, if those are going to be beetroot, then I guess I don't need beetroot there. I'm getting a little bit too used to the color of the paths because that's going to change. I guess I could just make this like an offshoot so we could have this one be create one here. like that and then have this maybe be its own little patch I can always mess with that later doesn't seem right no nope, was right the first time
That's what I had wrong. And then this, I guess we just have one more. And then we can make this some sort of decoration. I don't know many packs. I've got a pretty long beard right now and it takes a lot of work to keep it not looking like um, a homeless, <laughs> a homeless man's disheveled craziness. Peanut Butter Sack 72. It's a unique username. Welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. How does that look for a pattern? Eh. I like it with the exception of this path thing that I put in the middle. I think maybe I should just do that. And then maybe put an extra one here and move this over there. It's always going to be a little bit wonky, I think. I do like the map for like pixel art type stuff when you want to be very precise about what you're doing. Or if it's something that satisfies you greatly, then I think then it can be quite useful. This feels like it should be a little bit larger. And maybe we'll bump this around. Oh, look, a cosmic dancer. Ooh, that's a lot of pods. Are you sure? Holy crap. Oh, and they're gone. <laughs> All right, well, now that we've got those, I can probably put the pitcher plants away. Oh, I could have given Cosmic their pitcher plants back, the ones that they delivered at the start of the stream. I guess if you're watching Cosmic, I'll put them in here. So feel free to take those back if you need them or want them. Flower box. Well, I feel like that looks pretty good. And what we'll do now is what we were planning on doing earlier. Now, the, the crappy thing here is that I don't want to ruin all my coarse dirt. Now that I know that I need to turn this into farmland, I need to use just regular dirt. But that's fine because we've got a ton of it here that I'm not currently using. So we'll put this over here. And... Get a little bit more grass. More bone meal.
I forgot that was full. So now we can just plant them once I sleep. Oh, I've got a bed. Hold on. Go burn a shulker box full <laughs> on Infinity Cove, and then I can summon in with a with a command. That's hilarious. Steven, thanks for the lurk. I know you're often busy at work, but appreciate you being here. Hopefully I'll just see you later on today. I've got to figure out how to squeeze in the gym between now and dinner. So it's probably going to be a short-ish stream. All right, so what I need to do now is carefully replace all of this. I wasn't thinking when I realized I had to do farmland. I thought this was going to be um, coarse dirt and lilacs, but now it's going to be pitcher plants. Unfortunately, on the map, it's not going to look very good, but I guess it is what it is. I thought I wasn't getting those for a second. I may put some of these back. It may not be pitcher plants the whole way around. I'm thinking to do pitcher plants... Well, yeah, we probably do pitcher plants the whole way around. This won't take very long at all. So rather than going around and bone mealing all of those, although I guess I do have enough. I was going to just let them grow, but why not? We can just see if my concept is right maybe what I'll do is I'll just do the front part here that we can see from the road down there just to double check that the placement is going to work Deja vu, I'm remembering how long it took to plant that giant field of potatoes. Oh, I didn't replace this. All right, let's go see what that looks like. can see it from here. Yeah, I definitely like that better than just the lilacs. Now imagine 
up there if we had that beetroot texture. I think that adds a nice splash of color with the nice beige and the green. So we'll do these ones too. I figured the front two rows should be enough just to get a feel for what it's going to look like. Oh, out of bone meal. Yeah, the pitcher plants do work really, really well. You must have a ton of these around your place, Cosmic. They're such a bright flower. And they would go really well with all the, um, the pink, uh, the cherry blossoms. Because they've got that almost pink in the, in the head of them, in the, in the blossom of them. I do find it really strange. I'm right-handed, and so I find it very odd, and if I've got something in my offhand, I find it very distracting. <laughs> Struggling to stay awake at work, says Hunter Triple Five. Well, I don't know if I'm going to help you with that. <laughs> Every so often on the YouTube channel, I get compliments like, your voice puts me to sleep. And I'm just like, thank you, I think. So there's a couple spots where we can see down the rows, but we haven't put in the next tier. And I'm thinking I'm going to put in lilacs above these, which is going to be fast. We can do that quite quickly. This is going to need some decoration, I think. It might be fun to put like some sort of arch here. Maybe I'll make them out of wood. It would be neat if I could maybe take some of the... All this cobblestone is, is temporary, so I, it would be neat if I could maybe work some of the deep slate into the wall and then use some of the, the mangrove or something in the framing. That could be kind of fun. Rather than having just another stone wall, like over there, it's all stone. It would be cool if every once in a while... This had like a wooden support. That's a cool idea, actually. Um, I was completely not paying attention to what I was supposed to be looking at. A zombie somewhere. Yeah, I do like them better when they're all lined up in a row. And this will look fuller when they're all filled in, too. And we've decided that we liked the third tier pattern. It's just going to look really strange on the map. I wonder if there's a way to change. Does anybody know? Mini packs, you seem to be up on the map. Is there a way to change um, cave mode? No, there's no way to change how the block displays. Is there, there must be settings. Uh, world map. Cursor terrain. Hmm. Adjust Y for short blocks. Subtract one from the height value for short block carpets, etc. One layer of snow, lily pad, etc. This prevents those blocks from causing harsh shading on the map, like a full block waypoints into. Okay. That's about shadows. 
display stained glass. Nothing about crops. Nothing that I can see. I guess for a test, I can just do the first half of these and then we can go look and see if I want to do two tiers of pitcher plants or if I want to do just the one. Oh, not there. Oh, I think I like, I think I like the sandwich. Oh, I don't know. What do we think? Should I put, should I put pitcher plants up there? Or should it be lilacs like that? I guess it really does emphasize the rows. Although these could use... These could use some extra bone meal. That's probably why they look so, so flat. Let's try, um, I'll leave those ones. I'll take these ones out. And I'll put pods here just for now. Whoops. If people were wondering how I'm planting um, crops without, um, saturating the crop the farmland you've got to do it quickly and if you can do it fast enough then you don't need them to be saturated Little A B testing. So there's lilacs behind the pitcher plants. And oh, there's two tiers of pitcher plants. I think we might have to do two tiers, folks. What do you what do we think in chat? I should also put um, beetroots in that one spot here that we can see just to make sure oh that's going to ruin the signs uh, yeah we'll just Oh, it is random with some older crops. So it's only the pitcher plants that it really gives you the solid feedback. Oops.
Um, Everyone, anyone know if it's worth playing satisfactory at the moment? It's not just a, about an update or anything. Um, no, they're not updating until 1.0. Um, I think there was a couple of videos posted in the Discord mini packs. If you go to this, the satisfactory section of the Discord, Sandy usually stays on top of that stuff because because they're a fan. But last I checked, they were not planning any updates until 1.0 which is why i haven't been playing well i shouldn't say that i've been i've not been playing satisfactory because i've really been enjoying minecraft and i'm just i'm pushing to try and finish this before 1.21 comes out yeah i like that combo Yeah, I mean, have your finger over the fast forward button as per usual. Some of the videos from Coffee Stain are really long with very little information. Yeah, I think I think we do end up doing two tiers. Let's just finish this off to confirm. Well, Cosmic, if you ever need lilacs, I can tell you, <laughs> I've got some to spare. it took lock that long to do that more bone meal required Skalza you don't because it's a private server it's mine, and you can't have some. And for everyone else in chat, that might be new. Maybe you're a younger chatter. That never works. And you're very lucky if it doesn't end up being worse for you than the streamer calling you out. Either way, you don't look so good. So if you're new to Twitch and that's how you're going to behave, you're going to find it very difficult to find people that want to enjoy your presence in chat. I feel like I don't get a lot of young viewers. Most of the viewers I feel like are the average Minecraft player age, which is actually in tw the 20s. Not that 20-year-olds can't be complete butt munches on the internet, but most of the time, I feel like probably because of the spawn chunks, I feel like we have a really solid, respectful, and fun community. I shouldn't say because of the spawn chunks. I want to say... That's a contributing factor. I could save myself all the small meal if I really just had patience for this stuff, but I, I really want to know how this is going to look. And I like walking away from stuff saying that's finished or will be i might let the other half grow up just so i can move on to something else so if we decide that this is what we want then i might plant this back part and just let them 
let them grow so we can do achieve more today. Yeah, these are eating some extra bone meal for sure. Among Us is the worst for it, really? Yeah, I can see that happening a lot. That's and that's a per, that's a game that I think a lot of young people play too. Honestly, I I really feel and I understand that public schooling and teachers are already spread too thin anyway, especially in Canada, although I'm sure it's the same everywhere. I really think internet protocol and internet manners should be just part of education. At the very least, parents should be taking it on. But also, like, because of the long-term, like, business ramifications. Like, let's just say that you're a young person on the internet and you make a fool of yourself with a Twitch account and your Instagram account. And then in just a few years, like, say when you're 22, you want to get a job. All that stuff is out there, you know? I mean, I'm Gen X, so I've always had a foot in both camps. I grew up without the internet. The phones in my house were attached to the wall. Uh, but then very quickly in high school, like, the internet became a thing, you know, um, computers, home computers, like, all that kind of stuff. So I've had a, a foot in both camps for a while. Um, but I've always, especially because I worked as an artist for 25 years as an entrepreneur, like I just decided that whatever I did on the internet, if it wasn't something that I was cool with my grandmother seeing at the time, I just didn't do it or say it. And it's that rule has served me well. <laughs> Mini pack says we should send the 13 year olds to internet driving school. 13 year olds shouldn't really be on the internet at all. I was listening to a really uh, interesting podcast. Uh, it is called Modern Wisdom with Chris Williamson. And I can't remember the name of the guest, but he was an author and a psychologist or a psychiatrist. And he was talking about the restrictions that he thinks that society should put on cell phones, internet, social media. And it went up in tears. And all of it was like, minimum 14 or 15 and older and even then it was like with restrictions and he, he was he was quoting data about how it affects people's minds and social behavior and all that kind of stuff so there's a big line through there and i think that's just because i haven't filled that in yeah okay so yes i i like the double tier of the double tier of uh, pitcher plants and there's nothing up behind that. This is just going to be bushes. So it's probably going to end up being here. Some sort of shrub or something like that. Or maybe just extra wall. Break time when you're ready, says Cosmic. Thanks very much. I'm going to put in a little extra something here. While I think about it. Just to see. Yeah, if we mix in some of that along the way, that could be pretty cool. And then you're not really going to see it until you get to here. So that's kind of a fun reveal too. I'm just thinking there should, there could be like some sort of like, this almost looks like it could be blackberries, you know, like it could be like a berry bush patch, right? If we organize this in rows, same idea. Could do something like that. That might be a little bit too much, but we'll see. It's probably going to be something that you'd see more from over here. Yeah. This might be a little bit too thick.
This might change what I want to do about this tree. That tree might have to move. Anyway, I'll stick to the brakes. One mustn't disobey the cosmic. For folks that are new in the chat, I take a break once an hour. It gives me a chance to grab another glass of water. You can too. Grab a snack, grab a friend. I'll be right back.
I like the way that this looks from over here too. You can see the the color as soon as you leave the town, which is nice. Do I need more bone meal? I think that's what I came over here for. Thank you, Cosmic. Thank you, Sandy. Move this bright orange bed out of the way. And where can we put this? I guess we're not really working here yet. Yeah, I think I like the way that this is looking. I am a little concerned about the dirt. I kind of want to... I kind of like the way that this looks with the wall. I'm wondering if it'll be better to sacrifice a row. I guess... It'll make everything a lot smaller. Won't matter back here so much. Maybe I'll do it every second row. All right, either way, we've got a bunch of other plants to put in. Uh, peanut butter sacks. Thank you very much. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's it's nothing. The thing about YouTube is that it's it's really, I wouldn't say meant for, but certainly the popular thing on YouTube is people that have edited short form content, right? And so, I think what ends up happening with me is that my stuff is just vods, like it's just it's just what you are watching here live, archived for later. And uh, I think that to expect more than what I'm getting on YouTube is um, a little bit much. I'd have to do edited content, I think. But I don't have the time. I don't have the time to do uh, anything like that. I don't play Minecraft unless I'm live here on Twitch. That's just how it rolls. That's all she wrote there. Saving a little bit of bone meal by letting some of these grow up, I guess. But I appreciate the compliment, Peanut. I think that um, I'd like to have more subs. I don't, I haven't yet had a revenue check from YouTube. We talked about this, I think, the last stream or certainly on the weekend where I really don't earn that much from YouTube. Uh, really what I'd like to point people towards, and I often plug it on the stream, is my Patreon page. So it's patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. And um, 
that is by far the best way to keep me streaming and and make sure that I have a consistent uh, income, really, you know, not to be, not to pussyfoot around it, you know, not to tiptoe around it, but that's how I make my living between podcasting and streaming. The Patreons are both the biggest contributor. Uh, and I would say, I would say also the, the most consistent Twitch has got some some great ways for people to earn income, but it it ebbs and flows. It goes up and down. It's it's around the same. You know, I can always get an average, and I know what the average is. But when I think about the month to month fluctuation on Twitch, it's quite a lot, uh, depending on the month. And then um, the fluctuation on Patreon, though, it's like it's it's under ten percent. It might even be as low as five. We do see people come and go. But it's it's usually a, a nominal, you know, a two dollar a month person leaves and a two dollar a month person shows up, that kind of a thing, you know, or or one five dollar person leaves and then two two dollar people show up. So like it's it's pretty consistent. It really doesn't change that much. I'd like to have it grow the other direction, obviously. I mean, having Patreon be, you know, an increase. I'd I'd really like to see more of a 10% to 15% per quarter. But um, we just talked about that on my, my hangout that I did live with the, the Discord where we we're talking about the download numbers and stuff for the Citadel Cafe and then Twitch support and all that kind of stuff. Oh, this box. Thanks for the lurk, me, Pax. Appreciate it. The other thing about YouTube versus Twitch is that I feel like Twitch has got this great second monitor experience. I guess people could also put the the thing up on a second monitor on YouTube, but I find even when I sit down to watch YouTube, there's very few YouTube channels that I will watch a full like two or three hour YouTube video. Um, a podcast is one of them. If it's an engaging enough conversation where it's worth watching the two people on video, I'll probably check it out. But if it's a Minecraft video, very seldom do I watch an entire three hour stream, even from some of my favorite creators like the Hermitcraft folks. Like, you know, I'm more inclined to watch their 20 minute video. But I guess the thing there is that I have that option. If there was a hermit that only did streams and did no videos whatsoever, then if there were some that I liked, then I would, I guess I wouldn't have a choice. I'd be watching the videos. I certainly do watch more long-term content with Satisfactory. For whatever reason, that game, I tend to be on board for the longer, longer sessions, but that game just kind of needs it, I think. My streams for Satisfactory are often three to four hours as opposed to two. All right, no more pods. So now it's on to, I guess, the beat roots and designing other stuff. I guess we could put in the dirt and the coarse dirt. That looks pretty cool. So the plan was to do, uh, where's a good example? this kind of a thing where I've got coarse dirt paths, but with like a little bit of texture in them. I think I want to take this to the next level though and do mostly mud. So I think these will be mostly mud paths, uh, especially around these guys. I don't know about this. This might be worth doing coarse dirt. We can check that out. But I think what I'll do, because I can get a lot of this fairly quickly, I'll do mostly mud through here. And before I do that, I should really think about putting in an extra wall. See, we've got walls. You see what I mean by it looks cool with a wall, but then here we don't have that effect. So I'm thinking maybe we put a wall in here because this is the largest of the lilacs. So I'll go get some, I'll go get some um, cobblestone. 
Actually, let's try let's try a little experiment here. Grab some coarse dirt. And let's get some of those. Some of those. I need more of those. Trapdoors. I need to harvest some trees. Maybe that's how we'll finish the stream today. Sage Mode Flaco. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Mini Packs says, I think Critical Role is just about the only channel I watch multiple hours on YouTube. Twitch is almost um, only time I watch multi-hour content. Yeah, and Critical Role is a really good example of the kind of content that requires... A like, I wouldn't want to watch a half an hour session of Critical Role, right? Like, you, you need enough time to get into it. And I think that's important to note. And that might be true of, like, a stream like this. I think the thing that I'm trying to do that's different than everything else that's out there happening in Minecraft... Um, while there are a lot of streamers that do short-term content, I'll just use Hermitcraft as an example, um, in that they stream some of what they do, but there's a lot of stuff that they do where they're just playing. Like they they will record and play for three hours and record different clips and there's no one else but them and their server mates. Um, but for me, everything that I'm doing on Twitch is what how, like how this is built there's no edits there's no cuts and you can watch the entire process on youtube now it's a huge volume of hours but i don't know many other creators that are doing that videos starting with i just did this and this and this yeah yeah although sometimes that's like they're recapping a stream so i get that uh wall i i meant to bring wall stuff let's just use bricks wait a minute i wanted to do deep slate didn't i cobble deep slate deep slate bricks and site uh, cobblestone i guess no Well, that's dark. We should be able to sleep. No, nope. not a thunderstorm. Like the lights are on or feels like anyway. Benji bananas. Welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. Where does this wall need to go? Right there, right? Yeah, right here. So I'm wondering what would happen if we had a little bit more wood focused stuff. Whoops. Doesn't look too bad. 
ignore the path and the fact that you can see the bottom pixel. We're going to fix that. Also wondering what this might look like with some extra wood framing. Maybe? I don't know. We might want to do something like that. It might not be right there, but... I don't mind the deep slate. It's very different. I mean, I think we'd have to mix them both a little bit. I don't have nearly as many blocks. If I go deep slate, I don't have the same amount of texture. I've got slabs and stairs, which is good. I do have cracked, but I don't have mossy. Although I didn't use a lot of that either. Matt B, good to see you. I kind of like the dark, the dark vibe. This is probably going to move. Maybe that's a better way to differentiate it. Although we could also make this all deep slate. Do we think it's too much like the house? Or is it better because the house is gray and if the wall is not gray or not light gray, maybe it works better. This is the kind of spot where I wish we had like painted wood in Minecraft because I would just make fence and paint it. <laughs> Paint it whatever color I wanted it. Oh, you know what? I wonder if we could work in some tough, just so that it doesn't feel so, so dark. And I'm missing that green kind of overgrown feeling. I wonder if we can work in some tough in with the deep slate. Maybe that will help. So like in here,
put a little bit of grass in front of that? I think that works. And then if I was also doing what we were doing up at the top, every once in a while, we'd have some sort of wood. I like the shorter one better. Oh, that was the only trapdoor that I had? Hold on. I'll get more over here. Uh, mini packs, yeah, we got a release candidate for 1.20.5. I think we can expect it probably next week, would be my guess. Maybe Tuesday. Yeah, the mangrove looks better, doesn't it? Finally going to be able to sleep and get rid of this rain. I should look for a better Unicode symbol for nails. They're always... Um, they're always black, though. And so I find it... It's hard to get one that's the right color. Where did I put the bed? <laughs> no, no, Monday, just after you've closed the call for the Spawn Chunks recording. Well, they don't usually release versions on Mondays. It's usually Tuesdays. So if anything on Monday will be like, potentially new version of Minecraft tomorrow. It's the only thing about recording on Mondays. It's, it's the best day for Johnny and I, but it means that usually we are just before some of the big announcements. Hmm, I don't know about the brown. The brown sort of blends in with the dirt. I thought I was gonna like it, but I don't think I do. Maybe we can reserve it for just, like, just the gates. I think I like the deep slate, though. I feel like that could work. Maybe if we add in those ladders and the buttons. And maybe these are mangrove instead. We could probably make that work. The dark works better to contrast the flowers. That's my, what my thinking was too, mini packs. That was my thinking too. It's the, these are okay here. 
So maybe we only do the posts when it's like a big too tall wall. I guess it has to be deep slate to really tell. I've also got mud, although that's pretty dark. So that's the light wall. Yeah, I think you're right. I think the dark wall does really, really help. And we can go in here with stairs and slabs and make this all look good. We don't have any pressure plates, so I won't be able to do that. We've got blackstone buttons, but no deep slate buttons. So there's a couple of things I won't be able to do, but that's okay. And there's nothing to say that we can't fade it out into, like maybe by the time you get up here, maybe it's a stone wall, like a like gray stone, right? Although again, like it'll, if we do any lights along here, it'll help it stand out against a street light too. Oh, that's not what I wanted. The only thing I think is that there's not a lot of contrast between these blocks. So that's one tricky part. Unfortunately, I really don't like blackstone crosshatch. It's not, not my favorite block. I find there's a lot of purple in it. it doesn't really go well. All right, what else did I want to try? Oh, mud, right. Um, packed mud. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go get more rooted dirt. I don't have a lot. We might be able to get it with more mushroom block. But where's a good example of where we can test this out? So I think probably at the lower tiers. Yeah. Stuff where we'd be able to see it. At least if I have to replace this, it's not hard. definitely has a different sound when you're walking on it. This is just a small tier anyway, so worth giving it a test.
And there's certainly enough uh, warmth in that block to uh, to match the the pink in the lilac. Now, out of curiosity, if I wanted to plant these on farmland, can I do that? I can. Oh no, they float. Right. I did test that before. Never mind. So it's it's rooted dirt or coarse dirt, I think. I don't know. Rooted dirt looks pretty cool. I do know a place in our 118 area where I can get a good amount of this. I don't know if I can get enough. I keep on meaning to make a data pack for the server. And now that we are on 1.20.4, um, although maybe I'll wait until 1.21, but I want to make a, a custom recipe for rooted, rooted dirt because you can get roots with bone meal. And I thought if you can create like, you know, dirt like that, and then two roots, and then you got either one or two rooted dirt, I think that would be fine. Uh, da, 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 da. The farmland would turn back to dirt as well with a crop on it. Right, Cosmic, I remember that now. I, I think I like the contrast. As much as the rooted dirt matches the lilac better, I think the coarse dirt makes more sense. It's also gonna be cheaper and faster for me, so we'll make the executive decision there. I wish we could have these plants centered. That would be the one beef. We looked into a data pack, but it crashed the server or it didn't work. I can't remember which. But I, I think I like, I think I like this. Whoops. Don't know how often we're going to be using um, rooted dirt, though. It's pretty cramped in there now. It's it's disappointing that you can't see the um, pitcher plants from the map. Mini packs. Did you you said something earlier about the was it the Y level? Yeah, I can't say I'll be doing that very much. If anything, it'll probably be the mushroom block. Yeah, that's going to be hard to get too. I do find it very difficult to, to pick block around these two tall flowers. Plus there's that. The hitbox is real real pain in the butt. I think that's enough actually, you know, it's not it's uh it's pretty good. Plus it means I'm not going to be at this for ages.
Oh, maybe that was it, Mapex. Maybe that was it. Yeah, I think that'll look good. Contrast between the wall, the mud, and the mushroom block. I don't think there's another block that I would use in there. All right, let's see what that looks like uh, with the pitcher plants. And where's a good spot to test this out? Probably over here. Let's say up there. Certainly fast to remove if we change our mind. I think in some places we'll have to be a little bit more creative because this is just going to look all kinds of wrong. So we might have to be a little bit muddy here. Throw in a little bit of this. Around the stairs and stuff, we'll have to get a little bit more creative, but should be okay. Trying very hard not to uh, destroy a pitcher plant. kind of thing I probably should have done the paths first but I wanted to know what was going to look good with the full grown plant so I had to wait That's everything. I'll go get some more. At least when I do this, you'll be able to see the difference between the path and the pitcher plants, I think. It's just that the pitcher plants, farmland and path block are both the same color on the map, so maybe it'll move or change. Okay, don't need two stacks of those. What do I want? I want more mud. Uh, Steven really liked Dune 2 mini packs. I still need to get that episode of the Siddle Cafe out. I'm so behind on everything. Tax season. Busy, busy. So we'll be able to see the rows, at least. And of course, the other version is going to be, of course, dirt. And then this we can texture with all the same blocks we normally texture coarse dirt with. It's 
certainly more contrast on the map. I don't know about here. I know it's not saying path, so I might as well just change it while we're here. Paths are just the easiest way to mark things out. See, that might want to curve over this way a little bit more. It's kind of straight, but we'll get there. I think I like the coarse dirt better. Well, this looks pretty cool too. Cheers, Steven. Take it easy. Thanks for the lurk. Do you need more pitcher plants? Yes, I do. If you wouldn't mind AFK and Cosmic. I can also AFK. Um, I can do that too. So you can't really see them from down here. It's really not going to make a difference, I don't think. From the road. I try not to get too caught up with like this kind of perspective because you're like you're never up here. Where most players are probably going to be walking around down here supposed to flying the dragon eye view yeah exactly Yeah, you really, you can only see, you can only see it here. So maybe I'll replace a little bit of this with coarse dirt. Kind of need to see it next to one another to get the vibe. It's really not that bad. Like it's it's comparable. If anything, there's a harder edge here. I don't know. What do we think, chat? Do you like? For the for these ones for the lilacs I'm definitely going with with the uh, clay not clay um, packed mud I can't think today so brown mushroom block and packed mud that's what's happening at the lilacs 
I'm just debating what's going to happen in the uh, pitcher plant area. And it's really not going to be super visible. So I'm kind of nitpicking over a little thing here. Coarse dirt fits better to your eyes, Wafer Knight. Mini pack, same thing. Yeah. I mean, that'll be cheaper anyway. And not that it matters, but it's a better look on the map too. Peanut, thanks very much. I like to think they're pretty chill. Could maybe make that a stair, I guess. Yeah. I think we could make something like that work. Okay. Well, I guess the last thing I want to poke at then is these planters. I think I like them, but I definitely want to see what we can do. And my inventory has been pretty clogged for a while anyway. So I'll grab a little bit of these. Got signs. I think we'll need those. I'm probably going to need more trapdoors because I always need more trapdoors. I was toying around with some jungle. Trapdoors and jungle signs as well, just because they do match the beetroot so well. And this is the one you're probably going to be seeing from the road. So let's actually replace the wall here, just so we have a basic idea. I'm not going to do any texturing, I'm just going to do a straight up replacement. just so we have the dark wall up against the planters. I really do like the sound of Deep Slate. So these are going to be beetroots, I think. And something I should consider is a water bucket. which will affect, I think, most of the color of this farmland. So let's go do that. I can't remember whether we can do it 
underground or whether we have to do it on the same level. Does anybody remember the, the, the game rule on how water affects farmland? I know it's a nine block diameter, so it's only a four block radius. Or is it a nine block radius? Oh, there's water right over there. Duh. So I was thinking something like this. And it's probably only going to affect this one. Packs, thanks very much. Appreciate it. So the idea that I had was to try and add some better colors. Now this matches the dry farmland, but not so much the dark farmland. That could be better off with a dark oak. We'll have to see. Because this is a lot lighter than that. But it might be worth doing like a dark oak thing there. The other thing we can work around is having maybe something like this. And then these are pretty decorative. I don't think they work very well for the ends. I want these to feel more structural, but this could be a little bit more fancy. Certainly less loud. J. Crest, hello. And I don't think we can do anything with the hanging signs. These are just going to be too far out of the way. We'd have to like place them up against a block. And even then. Yeah, that's not really going to work. That might be kind of something cool to hang over top of it, maybe. You know how some people have like little signs in their gardens that indicate what's going on? If we had something going over the top, that could work. Uh, those are my beetroot. It's a custom texture. And if you look up what beets look like on Google, you can probably find the image that I used. <laughs> All right, quickly sleep here so we can see this in the daylight. Yeah, I find that the, the beetroots in Minecraft just didn't, they were the wrong kind of red. They didn't seem to really go with anything. And uh, I much prefer, when I need a red crop, I go with uh, nether root. Nether wart? Nether wart. You just have to plant it on soul sand, but other than that, it's, uh, it's a good block. It's simple, but I think I like it. And with the shaders on, this is not so loud. It's a little bright here, but that water is only going so far so if i use this i think i might want to put this far enough away that it doesn't affect the farmland at all because i think it would make sense to have this here but if i move it and put it like back here make sure it's at least four blocks away from the planters then it should be fine Looking at the wiki, says Kel Birdie, thank you very much. It says that water will hydrate farmland up to four blocks away horizontally, including diagonal. Oh, diagonal. So if I wanted to, I could put it underneath here. I 
and that'll work. I guess we just have to wait. I'd say yes. I think that worked. Unless it went away. I saw something flicker. Minecraft Melly subscribing at tier one. 13 months, the lucky 13. Thanks very so much. Minecraft Melly says boop. <laughs> oh, nope. It's going away. It doesn't work down there. I think it has to be on the same level. I wonder if diagonal is the thing on bedrock. Oh, diagonal on the same. Yeah, so I see what you mean, Kel. Diagonal this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not not at a not upward. Not in the Y level. It all has to be the same Y level. Okay. Yeah. Uh I think I prefer it as it is that way anyway. It matches better with the rest of the the rest of the farmland here, so we'll leave it like that. Um we may even do more of the um oh I put it all away. We might even do more of the clay up here. Not the clay, the packed mud. But I, I just want to try to think of something more interesting to do here. I just don't find that very, very cool looking. I don't think I want to do signs on the end. I feel like that's a little bit strange, although it's not bad. I think it just looks so boring when it's the same thing all the way around. And maybe we can come up with some better ways to do this. We could also use stairs here. I did that before too. But anyway, I think that is where I need to wrap things up for today, folks. Really appreciate y'all being here. We're going to fly up a little bit higher so we can see the work that we've done. We now have pitcher plants. Thanks to Cosmic Dancer dropping off the pitcher pods. Uh, some ideas for trellis or gates. We've got a darker wall coming in. And we've made a couple of decisions on the textures. We've got packed mud and brown mushroom block. And then I think we're going to go with coarse dirt up here. You can see the difference there. There's the coarse dirt and there's the packed mud. And for the pitcher plants with the farmland, I think it works better with the coarse dirt. And then for these guys that have the coarse dirt underneath them, I feel like the mud or not the mud, the clay. No, I was right. It's his mud, packed mud. Too many, too many names that are too similar in Minecraft. Uh, and we can put a water bucket there and it's not going to affect anything because all of the farmland is far enough away. So that's the other thing. If we, if we added some water somewhere, this farmland would get darker. So we got to be careful about that as we decorate with it. But I think that looks pretty cool. I'm going to pass you all along to Megabyte, who is a fantastic streamer. I hope you will enjoy the rest of your afternoon in Minecraft. And uh, I'll be back again tomorrow, one o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus four hours. Check out things like the Spawn Chunks podcast, as well as the Citadel Cafe podcast. They're available wherever you get your favorite podcasts. And don't forget Patreon, which I mentioned earlier. I very much appreciate all the support. Thanks for the bits. Thanks for the subs. Cosmic and Sandy, thank you for the moderation. Mini packs as well. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.